What's up guys, so in this video is the start of my brand new series I'm really excited to be talking about called What If. These will be taking specific events and changing them and see how it would affect the God of War timeline. I'm working with series expert Jed for these type of videos for the most accuracy possible and figuring out the major consequences for each change. To check out Jed's work and all he's done for the God of War series, you can check out his Twitter. I'll leave a link in the description. Extremely smart guy when it comes to God of War. This video will be about Ares and what if he killed Kratos. For this what if timeline, we are taking away Kratos' immortality as he failed to stop the Sisters of Fate to intervene with the fight in the past between Kratos and Ares, and this permanently killed off Kratos, wiping him from existence. Let's see how this will play out. Immediately after defeating Kratos, Ares goes over to his body and takes the power of hope that engulfed Kratos giving him the power to kill a god. Which immediately brings up our first major question, could the power of hope be transferred from person to person? The answer is an astonishing yes. Remember Athena's quote at the end of God of War 3. That is why you should give me the power. I understand its true meaning and where it belongs. I trust you to do the right thing, Kratos. It seems like Athena knew the power of hope can be transferred from person to person. And just because Kratos is stabbed or killed doesn't mean the power will be released like in God of War 3. When Zeus impaled Kratos in God of War 2, the power did not release. It was also released in God of War 3 because Kratos willingly released it into the world. He could have willingly gave it to Athena, which she really wanted him to do. Which means the power of hope can lay dormant inside of a body, whether that body is alive or not. Since Ares is a brother to Athena, who worked with her a lot, it wouldn't make sense that he would know how this power works and how to use it just like Athena did. Once Ares takes the power of hope from Kratos' body, he will begin his assault on the gods. His army will follow him all the way to Olympus as he is a big target and they know Kratos failed because they were watching him the whole time during his fight with Ares in God of War 1. So at the same time, they will all strike at Ares. So that brings up our second major question. Could the gods beat Ares while Ares is utilizing the power of hope? even if they would attack him together. Here is some evidence that say that they will still fail. Take a look at this picture. It says the flame can destroy any god or mortal who touches it. That person will be destroyed instantly. Yet the power locked inside is even greater than that. So you're telling me that the power inside the box is stronger than a flame that can destroy any person who touches it. Zeus, Poseidon, Hades, none of them can stand the chance. Remember, once Kratos finally used the power against Zeus at the end of God of War 3, the fight ended extremely quickly. The gods will challenge Ares, but they will all fall one by one and they will fall fast. But what about Athena? Would he take her out considering how close they work together? The answer is a surprising yes. Ares hated his sister and Zeus forced them to walk together. Here is a passage from the God of War novel. I'll leave it on your screen, but I actually cannot say these words because, you know, I want to keep my YouTube channel. So yeah, with the way Ares is talking about Athena to Zeus, he has no love for Athena. He absolutely despises her existence and of course he would take her down. The same with all the other gods who want to defend Olympus, and as we all know from Athena and God of War 3, Zeus is Olympus. They will all go at Ares attempting to either avenge or protect Zeus. Ares' hatred of Zeus will eventually be Olympus' downfall if he manages to get the power of hope that is stored inside of Kratos. But there is one thing to talk about, the aftermath. 
The world will be destroyed. Athena will probably come back as a ghost just for Ares to destroy her again. So what comes next with this entire world destroyed? Well, we theorize that one of two things may happen. Either Ares will attempt to make his own world, go into that dimension he pulled Kratos in and try to start something new there, or like Kratos, just pack his stuff and just start walking. He'll just travel and destroy and conquering everything along the way, fulfilling his namesake as the God of War. The world will know the Greek God of War, the most powerful creature in existence. And that's going to be it for this video. I really enjoy making these videos because it's like I really have to thank me and the person I'm working with. Again, follow him on Twitter. We really have to sit here and think about what could happen. We talk about all the possibilities and it's extremely fun to do this and I can't wait to go forward uh, continuing God of War using the What If series and the Battle of the Gods series. I'm making more on that as well. I hope you guys see it. I'm also making other content on the channel. I'm going to be out of here. Thank you guys for listening. Deuces.